every dream they have, we will help make come to life. This is our commitment, tar and them. Clients first serve them with excellence. They give only our best. This is our commitment, tar vow. Every encounter we will make them go wow. Today we start now. This is our commitment, tar vow. Every encounter we will make them go wow. Today. We start now. Welcome to all in attendance. We thank you for joining us for our first client first session sponsored by our TIF team. Today we will be discussing smart money moves. I am your moderator today. My name is Shane Prescott and I'm a digital champion at CABC First Caribbean. And we have a packed and informative session for you today. We will, be dis we will be discussing today how to make smart decisions, especially in these times as we try to find our new normal, and how to use our products and services to get the most out of your digital banking experience. At CABC First Caribbean, we are committed to providing a banking experience that is personalized, responsive, and easy for all of our clients. Before we jump into our session, Let's do a little house cleaning. All right, so today our presentation will cover Visa cards, other banking services, online and mobile banking, and tips to manage and protect your money. We'll also have our Q&A, our question and answer segment. Uh, we wanna ask you kindly not to post any questions in the chat, but to use the Q&A section for your questions. We do have dedicated persons to reply to you there. Okay, recording of the session will be available within 48 hours after the session today. And after the program, we ask that you kindly complete our survey and tell us how we did, you know, so we can always improve for the next time. So, we, we have a small polling question we want you to answer. Which country are you joining us from? You know, just to break the ice. And you can post this answer in the chat room. Only this one in the chat room. All other questions or queries will be answered in our Q&A, okay? So while we are doing that, I just want to introduce you to our presenters this evening. We have Mr. Richard Black. He's our Director, Cards, Products, and Analytics. And Ms. Leanne Osama, Head of our Digital Banking Channels. So welcome, Richard and Leanne. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. And I'll let you introduce yourselves. Thank you, Shane. Um, my name is Richard Black. I've been with the bank for about 18 years. I'm really excited to be here with everybody, albeit virtual, as we continue our drive to make banking at CIBC First Caribbean more personalized, responsive, and easy. I'll hand over to Leanne now, uh, who will take you from here and introduce the first segment. Thanks so much, Richard. Um, thank you so much for that introduction, Shane. Um, my name is Leanne Osamo. I'm the head of Digital Banking Channels, and I'm really excited to talk about um, our first part, which is our direct banking account. So what I wanted to mention first is because of the pandemic and all of the changes that we're going through today, you've been asked to reassess your life. But I think you need to take a moment to also reassess your banking. So we have an amazing product that you know, we wanna make sure all of our clients know about that no matter what type of client you are, we have that digital banking solution for you. So let's talk a little bit about the direct banking product. It is a checklist product. It's a very digital product. There are no minimum balances. There's no monthly service charges and you can maximize your ability to save on this type of product. As I mentioned, there's no service charges. You can bank at any of our instant tellers, online banking, or use our mobile banking. The product is paperless, so you're saving the environment as well. You do get statements, you get those statements online. And then you can also bank anywhere, anytime using our online and mobile banking app. So how might we save you time or money with our direct banking account? Let's first talk about saving you time. Now, I'm sure you've all been in this situation, either standing in a line, 
paying a bill at, uh, for instance, a water company, one of your utility bills, or even if you're paying through a third party. In some cases, you're waiting for 30 minutes just to get to pay that bill. The great thing about this product is using our online and mobile banking, you can pay your bill in seconds. So that's one of the great benefits of this product. Also, you can save money by banking at our instant teller. You will vo avoid withdrawal and deposit charges via over-the-counter fees. So this product is purely, um, you have the control in your hands once you're using our ABMs, our point of sale um, terminals, as well as banking with us online, you're not incurring any costs. And again, I'll mention the online and mobile banking because that is one of the best things that CIBC First Caribbean has to offer. We have great products, but I, I of course, am a, a little bit um, biased towards our online and mobile banking, but uh, we, pride ourselves on developing something that will not only save you time, but also saves you money. And that's what that product does. You can, you have full control of your finances and we're actually going to give you a quick um, recap of the mobile banking app to show you quick tips and tricks in terms of use of that app later on. So Leanne, to be clear, you're saying to me as a person, no start and no end banking or I can be a seasoned banker, I could be a vet. You're offering an account with no minimum requirements that would cause penalties. I can manage to avoid monthly service fees and it offers me access to all of, all of our digital products, internet banking, mobile banking, ATM, visa debit, online statements, all of the above. And they're all free. Yes, I'm telling you that, Shane. That's it's excellent. really exciting. Yeah, yeah, agreed. <laughs> So tell me, Leanne, for me as the one listening to this program, how can I obtain an account like this? So it's actually really easy. You just need to visit our website at cibcfcib.com. Once you go to the website, just click on bank accounts and then find direct banking and you can actually apply online. So we will take you through a series of guided questions. Um, and then once you complete that application online, someone will be in contact with you within 48 hours. And that's it. It's that simple to get started. So you're saying they can do this from at home right now? Yes, you can. And I'd recommend that you actually do it right now. But... That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Richard, I guess you're, you're going to speak to us now on our cards, our visa cards. Yes, thanks Shane. Uh, and thank you, Leanne, as well. Um, so I'm going to talk about the two main products right now. So the Visa debit card and the Visa cashback credit card and how when combined with a direct banking account together, they create a very flexible solution for your everyday banking needs. But before we get going, let's just um, look at a, a, a very short video. Um, and so we like to say that our visa debit is actually safer than cash. If it gets lost, you can, you can block the card using your mobile app or online banking. However, if you lose cash, it's gone for good. A mobile app and online banking provide many ways to manage the card on a day-to-day -day basis. And we'll get into more details um, as we go through the session on that. So the visa debit classic is really the way you get access directly to the funds in your account. So you can shop online, you can use it in store, you can use it um, locally or when you travel abroad. You can withdraw funds at the ATM, either at the CIBC First Caribbean ATM or at any other ATM around the world that shows the visa sign on it. You can also deposit funds at, into your account at any CIBC First Caribbean branch ATM in your home country. So let's look at some of the features and benefits of the card. Over the course of the next uh, year or two, you're going to see a gradual transition between coming from the ATM card to Visa Debit if it doesn't happen already for you. 
primarily because it's going to improve um, the, the, the safety and fraud pre prevention of using the card, as well as improve the ability to manage your, your account and manage the card as well. As you can see on the picture, there are many benefits that the Visa Debit brings in relation to the ATM card. And if I focus on some of the main ones, first of all, it's free to use at the point of sale to make a purchase. You can use it also both locally and internationally when you travel, it can be used online. Visa Debit comes with chip and pin technology, which is really meant to make your transactions secure and, and improve protection from fraud. It comes also with the transaction control um, features, which allow you to set an alert and get a message every time uh, your card is used, and also the ability to freeze or block your card if it's misplaced or if it's stolen. In addition to that, you also have tap to pay, which is something new um, that's not on the current ATM cards, it's on a Visa Debit. And it allows you to actually get in and out of a store faster by just tapping the card on the point of sale machine in those um, stores where the, the, that feature is available. And you, you, you'll see a, a small logo on the card or on the point of sale machine, like a, a Wi-Fi logo. So if you look at um, acceptance, the card is accepted all over the world in millions of locations at ATMs and stores, many, many countries, over 200 countries around the world. So you can really travel and be comfortable and know that your card will always be there to work for you. In terms of security and convenience, I think these are two very important features of Visa Debit. First of all, chip and pin security, which really makes sure that your transactions are safe and protected from unauthorized use and authorized fraud. And from a convenience standpoint, the ability to have the tap and go or tap, um, tap and pay is really excellent because it can get you in and out of a store really, really quickly. And all of our Visa Debit cards come with both the chip and pin and the contactless payment um, options as well. So let's talk about managing your card transactions. And one of the great things that we offer, which Leanne will talk more about later on, is you can track all your card payments, all your card transactions on your account. So you can use the online banking and mobile app to make managing the card very, very easy. Set an alert to get a message every time you use the card, freeze or block your card if it's misplaced. Imagine you're in a restaurant and you forget your card there for some reason and um, you don't realize until you're home, you can freeze the card so that it can't be used um, and then you can go back for it tomorrow and you'll be protected. And um, it really helps you manage in terms of being protected from any unauthorized use. So in terms of summary, um, Shane? Yeah, so, all right, so let me, let me just break this down a little bit. So you're offering a free card, which gives me access to my funds pretty much anywhere in the world that access Visa at any time. No interest, no payback, because it's my money. And you're offering me securities on this card as well. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's amazing. And don't forget, you also can manage it completely every single day through the mobile banking or online uh, banking that we have as well. So it's, it's a great way to get access to your funds wherever you need them, any time of day or night. All right, so this is, this is excellent. So let me ask you this, what about credit? All right, well, let's, let's talk about um, the credit card. So we can talk about the Visa Cashback credit card, which is probably the most appropriate. I'll spend a few minutes talking about our cashback credit card and, and there's an image on the, on the left hand side of the screen. As you can see, it comes with the same security features as we discussed with Visa Debit, as well as tap to pay functionality, that little Wi-Fi looking logo on the top right hand side of the card. Um, and in terms of what happens when you use the card, imagine that every time you make a purchase, you earn cashback. So every time you make a purchase on this card, you earn 1% cashback. It's really great for a first time card holder, just getting started in your career, seeking to establish some um, credit history, or you just want a card that, that's easy to use and saves you money. So it's a great all around product uh, and it saves you money as well. So you might ask about annual fees. So there's no annual fee. And I'll say that again, the, the, there is no annual fee, the annual fee is zero. And on top of that, you continue to earn 1% cash back on every single purchase. So uh, it really is a great card to get started with. Um, it doesn't cost you anything and you earn 1% every time you use it. Again, in terms of security and convenience, it still has the same um, chip and pin technology to ensure transactions are secure. 
and again, tap to pay, contactless payment, wherever that's available in any store, you can use that to come get in and out quickly without having to take, open your wallet, take cash out, get change. We don't have to swipe your card or anything. You can just tap the card on the machine and, and, and that's the transaction completed. So in terms of managing your card transactions, it's similar to um, Visa Debit. Again, same thing. And I know Leanne is gonna go into much more detail in the next section when she talks about it. But I wanna emphasize how easy, easy it is to manage your card in our online banking and mobile banking app. You can see every single transaction. You can set alerts to get a message every single time the card is used. You can freeze and block your card if it's misplaced or stolen, or if you believe there's been some unauthorized activity on the card. And I think one of the important features that, that doesn't get talked about a lot is that if you have a card balance and you pay it online, that, that credit is immediately available. So let's say you have $100 on your credit card bill. You pay that online now, that $100 is immediately available to use once that payment is completed online. So it's really a great way to manage your, your card so let's talk about the 1% cash back just briefly. How do you get that? So as I said, you get 1% cash back on every purchase. And you don't have to do anything really. You don't have to register anywhere. You just, you just, you just have to use the card and spend. And that cash back gets um, credited to your card every three months or four times a year. So Shane, summarize for me. All right. <laughs> I try to keep up with you. All right, so we have a credit product now, a card with no annual fee, I get automatic um, rewards every time I make a purchase with this card, regardless of where it is. I get automatic cash back four times a year. I have the contactless payment, which makes my payments easy. I can pay this card online and those payments are applied instantly. Like I can pay my card at the cashier, swipe my card, at the cashier and which has actually go through. And this card is saving me money in almost a sense this card is paying me to use it. That's what you're saying to me? You buy something and you get 1% discount without even thinking <laughs> about it and it gets back onto your card. So, so you know, you know it, my next question, Richard. But I hope you have one already. How, how, well, I have my card, <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna ask you this for everyone else who wants mm -hmm. to know. How can we obtain a card like this? Okay, so similarly to, to what um, Leanne talked about, let's go, you can go and log on to our website, cibcfcib.com. Click on the uh, credit and visa debit tab and follow the prompts for visa debit or for um, the cashback credit card and follow the apply online prompts and go through those steps and start the process and we will make sure we get, get back to you and uh, get that card into your hand as soon as we can. So there you go. I mean, both Visa Debit and, and Visa Cashback credit cards are a great products to start with. Amazing to add to uh, the direct banking account. And um, so that's it for me. And I'll hand over to Leanne now to take us through the next segment. Thanks so much, Richard. So this is my favorite segment. And um, we're gonna be showing you a quick walkthrough of our mobile banking app. I'm going to cover off the login and money monitor, card security settings. I'll also cover off uh, transfers and bill payments. So without further ado, I'm gonna take control of the screen. So if you can just pass on hosting rights, that would be great. <laughs> Okay, so let's bring this up and we'll start it from the beginning. All right, so first of all, we're gonna find the mobile app and um, I'm just showing you on a demo here. And we have a new feature uh, with our latest release, which you'll see in a few days. And that is for those iOS users, you will now have facial login. And you'll notice for the Android users as well as iOS, instead of you having a little fingerprint below the forgot password, we now have it all on the login screen, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. 
And as you can see, facial ID brought up, was brought up. Now we have notices and you'll see these from time to time. If we, are, if we wanna notify you on a change that's happening within the organization, meaning uh, a change in terms of your country and something that's happening, we will actually post it as a notice. So you just need to review those notices and um, you would just swipe across to review those notices and then click continue. Once you get through your notices, If you're a first time user, it's going to prompt you and ask you to set up your money monitor. Now money monitor is one of my favorite things is similar to a gas gauge. What it allows you to do is without even logging in, you can select your main account and I'm hoping that would be your direct banking account that you've just opened with CIBC First Caribbean. You can set your minimum and maximum limits and it will actually show you without even logging on where your balance is. So let's give you an example of us setting that up right now. So I'm gonna click on set up and enable. I'm gonna select my primary account on my demo. And then I'm gonna set my low balance. So something nice and simple, $200 and my high balance is $2,000. So you're gonna see that the money monitor is now showing where I am between that range for that particular account. Now we also have something called the rewards monitor. And if you have a credit card with us, the rewards monitor is fantastic because what it will allow you, it will, what it will do again, before you even have to log on, you can actually see how many rewards you have on, on your, um, for instance, on if you have one of our rewards, our classic cards, so you can see how many rewards you've earned so far. So this is me setting up my rewards monitor. I've selected my credit card and I'm gonna set a goal of about 30,000 points because I know that's a trip to Miami. And so every day I'm gonna be checking on my app as I'm using my credit card to see if I'm going to, how fast it's taking me to get to that 30,000 points. Okay, so now everything is set up. We're gonna go into the app. And just wanna let everybody know from time to time, we do offer, we do send out offers to you as clients. So you will see some of these options um, popping up. And if you're interested in that offer, you can just click accept um, the offer. Okay, so now I'm logging into my main screen of my online banking and as you can see, is organized based on the type of products that I have. So I jumped really fast ahead. I went all excited and I clicked on my card security settings because I think that's a very important um, tool that we have in our, our mobile banking app that all of our clients should have enabled, right? And by enabled, you should have alert me on all transactions enabled for your Visa debit card, as well as any credit cards that you may have with us. This is a great fraud protection for you as a client. And what that does when you alert me on all my transactions is that every time you use that card, it actually gives you a push notification on your phone telling you you just swiped $20 at this location. And what I found that it's helped me do is if for instance, the person put in the correct amount and I didn't catch it, I would have the alert to make sure that um, they've swiped for the correct amount. Or if they took your card away to swipe, if you're in a restaurant, et cetera, then again, it also gives you the security of seeing when that was swiped at their point of sale and that they've swiped it for the correct amount. The other part that's really important and a new update that we have added, uh, so we have a feature which we've had for a while called freeze, your car freeze My Card. But what we've done is if you do happen to freeze your card, we are now showing you that the card is frozen on your main logon page. And that's because some of our clients freeze their card to protect themselves. I might have changed my um, purse and I left my credit card or my Visa debit card in the other purse. I can easily freeze my card and then when I go and I grab my purse, I can unfreeze it. It's a, it's a wonderful feature to have and it's instant. The moment you unfreeze it, that's it. So you have the ability to freeze your card, but what we've added in the latest release that's coming is you get to see that you have it frozen and you can then go ahead and unfreeze it. Now, because this is a demo, it's gonna still stay on card frozen. 
All right, so we organize our products in a few categories. We have deposits at the top, we have credit cards afterwards, and then we have any loans that you may have with us. So I just wanna draw that to your attention. And now I'm going to click on my Visa card at the moment. Actually, I may go to my, my um, account first. Let me just see. Okay, actually, no, I'm going to my transfers first to do a transfer. So when you click on transfers, you can do many different types of transfers with CIBC First Caribbean. You can transfer between my accounts. So if I have more than one account, I can transfer between those accounts. I can transfer to another CIBC First Caribbean client. I can transfer to a client at another bank. So for instance, if you have somebody that you have to pay at Scotiabank, you can actually transfer funds directly to them. You can do an international wire, so transferring to someone overseas. And then you also can transfer via using First Pay. Uh, so what I will do is I'm just going to first show a transfer to a customer of another bank in my country. I want to start off with that one first because that's an important one. And the usability, the great thing about this is that the usability on all of these features is more or less the same. So once you learn how to do one transfer, you can do them all. All right, so I'm gonna select the account I'm transferring from first. Then I'm gonna select the account that I'm, the person I'm transferring to. So I've gone ahead and I've selected that individual. And it's John Smith. And then I'm going to key in the amount I'm transferring. I'm gonna send John $200. And then purpose of transfer is very important. That is a central bank requirement in all countries. So we have to, so we pop, pop this up so that you can select why you're transferring the funds. And I'm gonna select gift and donations. And the next part that I wanna mention that's really, really important is the type, the transfer method. So you have two options. You can use our standard method or urgent method. So a little bit on our standard. Standard method um, usually takes one to two business days. It may actually get there faster than that one to two business days. It actually is using the local bank networks to do the transfer and it is absolutely free. So that's another way that we are showing you through online and mobile, save time, save money. Urgent is you need to get that money there that same day, you can utilize the urgent transfer feature. Once you're within certain business hours, it can get there within one business day. However, there is a fee associated with urgent. It is using an international network and therefore that's why there's a fee incurred. So I'm gonna select standard. And then I'm just gonna type something into the transfer details. So you know what, I'm sending him a gift. So this is a birthday gift. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click transfer. And I'm gonna confirm that I'm transferring. So one of the new features that's coming with the latest release, which you will see shortly, is the ability to notify the payee. Now we had this before, However, you had two options. You could transfer using SMS or you can transfer using email. What we've done with this release is now you can transfer using any native um, thing that's implemented on your phone. For instance, you can use WhatsApp if you use instant messenger on your phone. So I'll just show you. So I'm gonna click notify payee and then I can actually scroll through and select my native app in terms of my notification. Right now I'm gonna send um, the message to Tremaine because I told her I was going to send him a gift and I'm just following through with that and I can go ahead and click send and it's that easy. So we've now integrated the notification piece into your, your phone with the native apps that you have um, installed on your phone. So I want to talk a little bit about First Pay because First Pay has a different usability. It's very easy to use. If you are using First Pay, the benefit of First Pay, well, before I go to First Pay, let me go to international bank accounts. And in this one, I just wanted to show you the usability on the international wires is the same, but let's go to First Pay. 
So in FirstPay, I select the account that I'm transferring from first, and then what I will do is I select the individual I'm tra transferring to, and I'm gonna select that person from my contacts. So it's very different. I, I haven't implement, I haven't put anything in, in terms of setting up a payee. In fact, I'm using the information from my contacts, email, email address or telephone number, as in mobile phone number for those contacts. So I'm gonna select my contact. I'm gonna look for Tremaine again. This is a demo app, so you will see someone else selected when it comes back in. So what the system does is once the person is a CIBC First Caribbean person and First Pay only works with CIBC First Caribbean clients and they have enabled their First Pay, so that's a big part that they have to do in their settings. They have to select the primary account that they want to receive their First Pay. Once those two things have happened and you've selected the number that we have on file, it will come back and tick and say, yes, you can send to that person. So again, I'm gonna put in the amount. And next, I'm gonna click transfer funds. And I'm going to put in that verification code. So the one thing about FirstPay is that you receive a verification code coming back. And success, I have sent my first pay. Now in this case, you don't have to send an alert for any type of transaction that is to another CIBC First Caribbean client or that is to um, uh, in, um, a, a client, a first paid client. The reason for that is those alerts are auto generated and sent from our systems. So you don't even have to go to um, and continue this. If you want and you had, for instance, like I did before, I sent something to Tremaine to show her that I sent money off to the individual. You can actually do that by doing using your notify payee if you wanted to. Okay, so now just wanna talk a little bit about transfers. This is our history, and as you can see, when I click on my history, I can see the different types of transfers that I've done. So the um, I can show it shows you if I've done a local bank transfer, if I've done an international wire or first page. You can see there are icons there, and you can actually scroll down. And there's an option for see more, and you can click on that and continue to scroll down. The transfer history captures all of the transfers that have happened to um, any clients. So it's a really great tool if you just wanna review what's happened. And then when you click on the actual transfer, it gives you a little bit more detail than that summation that you're seeing on the transfer history. Finally, if you wanna see information about your payees and what you've set up, you can actually click into payees and then you can see that information. So next we're gonna to go to bill pay. And as I mentioned, one thing that you wanna be able to do is save time. You don't wanna be standing in a line to pay a bill for half an hour when you can do it in, and I'm sure if anybody wants, you can time it now. I'm clicking on my water bill. I've selected my water bill. I'm selecting the account that I'm going to pay from. And I'm putting in the amount for that water bill, which is $100 and I'm clicking done and I'm paying my bill and I'm confirming that that's correct. Please remember to read the messages that pop up when you're paying your bill and that's it, your bill is paid. Now imagine that experience versus standing in a line for half an hour. And finally, I just wanted to show you on the credit card side, the type of information that we do have. We have added in your minimum payment in this new um, in this updated release as well and when your payment due date is you can actually go directly to your cards and make a payment for your credit card as well as you can click on the redeem now to actually get to your reward site and so that you can log in and redeem rewards also want to point out to everyone you can see those pending transactions there in my credit card that's really important. Sometimes the actual limit on the card um, or the available balance is very different than the actual limit. And that's because some transactions haven't come through yet due to the vendor and their point of sale system. So it's important to think. And then one of our most, and I just wanted to show you, I'll just come back out. And one of our most requested um, features from our clients in our Android app store was 
to have pending transactions on Visa Debit. And I just want to say, guys, it's here. We now have pending transactions on Visa Debit. So sometimes when you see the balance on your account and the, you, you weren't able before to see those pending transactions, now you'll be able to see it and reconcile your accounts. So we've heard you and we are bringing that with this next release, which you're going to be getting shortly. And then finally, just wanted to show you what the loan details look like. If you do have a loan with us and you click on it, you will have information like your monthly payment, your remaining balance, and the next payment date, the, the maturity date, and your interest rate. And I, that's it. Um, we're going to log off right now off of the app. And we're back and as you can see our money monitor is now set up and it's at the front and then our cards monitor is also there so i'm going to hand control back up, back over to the team All right, thank you so much for that, Leanne. All You're right. most welcome. So, so we have, as I said, a, a packed session this evening with lots of information. So online and mobile banking. Now you mentioned quite a few things that we can do. Um, our transfers, of course, viewing our statements, the card securities, that's excellent. Um, Richard would have mentioned the Visa Debit and the credit cards, and those securities apply to both of those cards. So we keep track of those at any point in time, or we can secure them at any time. Um, first Pay. First Pay is a very interesting feature that you spoke about. Um, and all of these things that, that were mentioned this evening basically come down to no cost. Yep, no cost and no. <laughs> so vital for, for if you're looking to manage your money and stay on top of your finances, making sure you pay your bills on time. Uh, the only thing I'd like to add is in our online banking, we have scheduled payments. So as you saw us do a bill payment today, imagine if you had that schedule. You don't even need to go into the app to actually make that payment for that bill. It'll just get paid on a specific day every month once you set it up. That's, that's amazing. And you know, a lot of persons, we were being advised recently, stay at home, you know, social distancing, all of these things. And all of these things that were spoken about today, reduce the contact that you have to have for persons, the, the contact you have to go into branches, um, you have to go into lines, not just bank lines, but lines to pay your bills, all these are saving you a lot of lines and a lot of time with these applications and the the ease of access that you have with these things. So I, I believe that was very informative. So we want to thank you and Richard so much. Um, I think we're going to open the floor now to some questions um, from our guests this evening. And we actually have a question here. What is the difference with First Pay and transfers to another CABC First Caribbean customer. So I so can take that, that Shane. Would, yeah. Yeah, I can take that one. Um, the well, they're technically sometimes they're one and the same, but the benefit of First Pay is that you as a client may not want to give out your personal account information, or even if you're a small business and you're registered on our online and mobile banking, again, you don't want to have to give out your account number. So first pay gives you the benefit of using your email address and phone number for, um, for the client or for the person who's sending you a payment. So you protect your privacy in terms of your account information. And that is, um, that's the main benefit of first pay. So if they're using your email address or your phone number, then they can go in and make payments to you without you having to give out your personal um, details. Because usually you have to give your account number, you have to say which branch is at, et cetera, when it's, thing. if that is, if you're gonna be doing um, consistent reoccurring transfers to someone, you may wanna then add them to uh, your online and mobile banking as 
making a payment to another CIBC First Caribbean client. But if it's a one-off, or it's it's um, if you are a business uh, banking client, a small business, etc., uh, the benefit is use First Pay to collect payments from your clients. Yeah, that's that's awesome, Leanne. Um, I can tell you it works well. I use it at the barber, and he cleans me up, and I start him out just like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no account number required. And the truth is, most of the time, we already have someone's contact number. We call people to do deliveries. We contact them to find out what they're offering. So that is usually the information we have at that point, their contact information, telephone number, or email address. So why not, huh? Um, yeah, I agree. I agree 100%, Shane. And you know what? It comes back to what we've been saying um, and our whole client first, around client first, making it easy for our clients. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it easy that our clients can interact with their bank. And it kind of, it, it becomes part of your everyday living. It's not something that you have to do in addition to um, uh, your regular day-to-day -day things. It's true. And it's contactless. No yeah, cash, exactly. no card. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's safe, right? Yes, yes. All right, so we have another question here for you. Um, are pending transactions up and running? So it is coming. It's not yet been promoted to the App Store. So it's not yet out there, but in the next two weeks, it will be available for all of our clients. So look out for it. You're going to be prompted uh, to update or upgrade your mobile banking app. So if you don't have it turned on as automatic, in order for you to continue using, you're going to have to update it so that you get the latest and greatest features. That's great. All right. So we have another question for you, Leanne. What okay. is the first pay transfer limit? So the transfer limit is 300 US per day. Sorry, no, 300 US per transaction, 1500 US per day. So you can do up to five transactions of $300. So the amount also, and the reason is set at that, um, at that level is because first pay is considered something that you're doing in terms of everyday transactions. So as you mentioned, going to the barber, the hair salon, et cetera. So it's not expected that you're gonna be spending lots and lots of money in terms of first pay. So it's more of a casual payment method. And it's, so we set it at that limit to protect you as a client as well, um, so that you, you, um, you have some level of protection in terms of the actual limit itself. So up to 1500 US per day, and each transaction has to be under 300 US. Okay, that's awesome. All right, we have another question here. Um, this one is geared at you again, Leah. Mm -hmm. um, how do I register for online banking and how do I get the mobile app? Okay, so to register for online banking, very simple again, go to our CIBC FCIB website or you can go directly to onlinebanking.firstcaribbeanbank.com and if you have an account with us, you just click register. The, what I want to just make sure clients understand is that your contact details need to be up to date in our system. So your mobile phone should be up to date in our system. If not, you're going to have to reach out to us to update that information. But it's that simple to get started. Just go and click register. You're going to be taken through a wizard, which will ask you your, either your card number or account number. We have made it, again, very, very easy for you. You have three different options to be able to register with. And, um, and then we just send you an OTBC code to confirm that you are the person um, thing. So the OTBC goes to, to uh, what is on record for us in terms of your phone number. And once you've done that OTBC code, that's it, you're registered. Then you get to log on the first time. What I would recommend is once you log on, there are four get started videos. Please take the time to review it so that you get a little head start on how to use the online banking. And once you've completed that, you can then download the app and start using it on mobile banking. The password is and logon ID are the same for both platforms. So again, it is all surrounding being very easy for you to use. Okay, so just give us a quick breakdown of what an OVTC code is. Oh, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> bank speak. Okay, so OTVC <laughs> is one-time verification code. That's what the acronym means. Or you probably heard the terminology two-step verification. What that is, is a code that is sent to your phone. It's usually a five-digit code that you have to put back in, and it's a verification to protect you. So it's a security feature that we have implemented on both online and mobile so that we know 
that when, for instance, if Leanne Oselmo is logging on to online or mobile bank, that is Leanne Oselmo. So it's, it's that simple. And the usability, meaning how to use it, is so easy for our clients uh, because it comes straight into your phone, you hear a ping, and if you are, and I'm not trying to plug for um, iOS, but if you are an Apple user, it actually allows you to automatically just click and it populates it into the mobile banking app as well. Um, so it's a really, really great feature. That's awesome. All right, we have another question here. This one is for you, Richard. Um, question on the cashback card. They want to know, is there a limit on the cashback card? So the um, actual maximum credit limit on the card is 1500 US currently. So you can get, a, I mean, if it's your first time and you want one, um, either you prefer to have a smaller limit or you qualify for a smaller limit, that's fine. But the maximum today is 1500. Um, and as you choose to, you can actually change to a, a different card later on if, if that's something you'd like to explore. Richard, um, I know that a lot of our clients do this. Is it sometimes considered a secondary card for some of our clients uh, so that they can use that card if they're shopping online, et cetera, because yes. of the fact that the limit's around um, 1500 US? Yes, and that's something we recommend actually is to have a secondary card with a small limit that you use to shop online. Um, and then if anything happens, you know that you're limited to that. But um, yeah, that's something that, and especially the, the, the cash back card, it's again, it doesn't cost you anything and you're earning 1%, so, you know, why not? Okay, well, that actually leads us into the, the next question. Someone asked if you can explain the cashback card and the benefits again. Well, basically, um, it's a credit card. That's one. Two, every time you make a purchase, you earn 1% cashback on the value of that purchase. Um, three, there are no annual limits, um, no annual fees, so there is, the annual fee is zero. Um, and then you apply for the, the cashback um, credit card like any other credit card. Um, and you get the cashback amounts credited to your card every three months or four times a year. Um, that's in, in summary. If you want more, more um, information, you can actually check our website. It has information there um, or, or you know, give us a call at the call center. But yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much the summary of, of what it's about. Hey, thank you, Richard. All right, um, question for you, Leanne. How easy is it to open an account? Oh, uh, very, very simple. So as mentioned earlier, you can go to cibcfcib.com and when you select the bank account, uh, you can then select the product that you want. So if you're going for the direct banking that we mentioned today, you can just click on that and then click on apply now and it'll take you to our portal so you can start your application. So it's a very simple process. Someone will be in contact with you within 48 hours after you've submitted that application into us to either collect additional information from you uh, as well as then start to finalize the opening of that account for you. Okay. All right, so we have another question for you. It was mentioned that, that there may be occasional offers to users of the mobile app, such as Visa credit cashback card. Mm -hmm. Upon accepting the offer, could registration for such be done through the mobile app also? So you would have to be already registered for online and mobile banking to have the, um, have the opportunity, meaning the ad to pop up for you. So you would have to be on the app um, first for the pre-approved offer to, um, to be shown. And then once you accept the offer, it is seamless in the background. Uh, in some countries, you will be picking up the card in your branch and other countries, it'll be mailed directly to you depending on the country that you're in. And um, it's actually pretty seamless. We just ask you if you're in, we ask you to confirm your mailing address with us. If your mailing address is incorrect, then you have to make contact with the bank and change your mailing address. If it is in fact correct, then you just accept the offer and we mail that card out to you. And within uh, three weeks, the card is at your doorstep. And then you can call us in, call the, um, our uh, customer service center to activate your card. If you're at a, um, in a country where it is to be collected at a branch, you will select, we have a, a default branch that we have set up for you based on where you usually bank, but you can change that branch. And so you just select which branch you want it located um, 
you, you want it delivered to and that's it. Again, the card will be delivered to that branch within a two week period and then you can go ahead and pick that card up. So I get offered this cashback card in my mobile app or online. Yes, I click exactly. yes, I want to have this card. Yes. It asks me to confirm that my mailing address is correct and the card is sent to me. Correct, that's it, it's that simple. That simple and that easy. Wow. So I, I have a question for you, Leanne, in regards to, um, you were speaking about the, I lost my train of thought, <laughs> just a second. You were speaking to us about um, the mobile app mm -hmm. and some of the new features that are coming. So like how, how often do, do we get updates and new things coming to the applications? So we try to do updates every, every quarter, so every three, four months. And, um, and then you're, so you're gonna be seeing some level of updates happening um, every four months within the app. So just look out for those changes. And usually what we decide in terms of updates are features, great features that we think our clients would appreciate and also add value to their, li to their lives and make their lives easier. So um, this is just another release. Look out for more to come in the short term. So we have some exciting stuff happening this year in terms of new features for clients. Okay, so in regards to features, there's another question on that. Mm -hmm. um, someone asks, will clients have the control over their local and international transfer limits? Is this a feature that will be coming soon? So clients, we have a standard set of limits for transfers. For if you are doing a local transfer uh, to another bank or if you're doing it to a client at CIBC First Caribbean, we have a specific set of limits. It's, it's um, $20,000 per day US. Um, if, it go, if you are doing an international wire, it's the same limit. But if you require a limit higher than that, say you're a small business and you have to transact um, and, and send an international wire that exceeds that, and that's a normal course of action for you, you can actually come into our branch and complete um, and meet with one of our officers and just complete a limit increase form. And that limit will be programmed for you in our system. So you're not exactly limited to what we have. We've set those limits to protect our clients. Uh, and so for the general public, we would recommend that you stick with the limits that we have set. But if it is a normal thing for you to have to have something higher, you can contact us. And of course, we can, we can meet your needs in terms of that. Okay, that's awesome. Um, do we have any more questions? I believe I saw a question on facial recognition and if it would be available on the Android devices. And that's a really good question. Um, the Apple device was, uh, was a lot easier. It is in our, what we would consider what we use in our agile development thing. It is in our backlog, meaning that it's something that we have prioritized to work on. Uh, so we are looking for a solution in terms of the Android users. So bear with us and hopefully we'll have something available for you in the near future. Okay, so someone asks, will deposits be updated as pending transactions or is it only pending purchases? So it is mainly pending purchases because in most cases your pending transactions would, it's whatever's on your Visa debit card. So you will see um, that information mainly tied to your Visa debit. So it will only be your purchases for now. Okay, um, another question, is there a difference between the mobile app and online banking for these features? So yes, um, the interaction with both mobile and online are a little bit different. For instance, FirstPay um, is very different in, in online banking in that you have to key in the email address um, or you have to key in uh, the phone number versus being able to pull it from your contacts, which is what you have available on mobile banking. Um, online banking has more, uh, allows you to add your payees. Uh, so it does allow you to add your um, pays to other banks, pay any kind of person that you're paying, a third party that you're paying, you have to go into online banking and do that first. And then it will be available on mobile banking. 
So that's one of the security features that's very different. The same thing for bill payments. And then, um, yeah, mainly those two are the biggest differences between the tools. So if you do have to set up a bill, you'll have to do it in online first, but it's instant and it's available in mobile banking once you've done that, um, that setup in online banking. Uh, and other than that, no, there's no other difference. The features are more or less the same in both platforms. Okay, so thanks a lot, Leanne. I think that's brought us to the end of our Q&A. Um, if you do have any additional questions, you can also, also feel free to leave them in our survey afterwards, and we'll be glad to answer those questions for you. We're now going to have a, another polling question. It should display on your screen, so you can go ahead and answer that polling question. Shane, is it displaying on the presentation? No, I'm not seeing it. Okay, so we're gonna have a polling question. If you're not seeing it, it should be there shortly. Um, but I wanna take this time to thank you all for joining us. Um, this is gonna bring us to the end of our session today. I wanna thank Leanne and Richard for the information provided. And I wanna thank also our audio video team, or our TIFF team, and everyone who brought this production together. Um, remember guys, you can go ahead, complete the survey, and tell us how we did. We, we look forward to these sessions, you know, that we can interact, um, share this information with our clients, and help us all to improve, get better, and to be able to pro provide better service and products for you to ease, you know, whatever we may have going on at the point in time. So, as I said, guys, complete the survey. Let us know if we, we did a good job, what we can improve on. And we really want to look forward to seeing you in our next session. And you can look out for that coming soon. Oh, the polling question's up, Shane. So if every, um, sorry, the survey's up. So if everybody could, uh, you can actually take a photo of the QR code so you can take part in our survey at the moment. So if they can do that, that would be great. There should also be a link in the chat that yeah. you can use to access the survey. So you can go ahead and use that as well. Okay, so we're gonna leave that up or for a little bit? Yeah, we, we're gonna leave the room open for a little that you can have access to the survey question, the link and the QR code. All right, so okay. we wanna thank you again, guys, for joining us. And we say ciao for now. Yep, thanks everybody. <laughs> Promise thank you. you. Easy, easy. Personalized and responsive every time. The plans and goals are priority. Every dream they have, we will help make come to life. This is our commitment, our anthem. Clients first serve them with excellence. We give only our best. This is our commitment, our vow. Every.